So new this morning, the president loves superlatives, and this morning he is making history. The Washington Post fact-checking team says the president has now made more than 10,000, 10,000 false or misleading claims since taking office. Joining us now is one of the busiest men in America, the Washington Post fact-checker columnist Glenn Kessler. Glenn, thanks so much for being with us. Tell us what your analysis has found. Well, uh, the president uh, continues to say false or misleading statements at an unbelievable pace. He hit 5,000 in September. Now here it is seven months later, and uh, he's now hit 10,000. That's an average of about 23 false or misleading claims a day in the last seven months. And, and you broke down one three-day period, basically the 25th, the 26th, and 27th. And we're going to throw this up on the screen for you if we can here, because it shows just an unbelievable number of them, 45 uh, false claims in the Hannity interview, eight in a press gaggle, 24 in the NRA speech, the campaign rally. Uh, there's a lot going on here. Right, and that's the, that, so it was 171 claims in three days. And uh, I went back and looked at it. That's more in three days than he did in a single month in the first five months of his presidency. And the rate is going up, as you have noted before. Are there certain claims that he repeats more than others? Uh, yes, we have a whole. Uh, we we keep track of this. You know, there 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 are more than there are almost three hundred claims he's said three or more times. But there's some that he just loves to repeat. He keeps saying that he's building this big beautiful wall. He said that 160 times. He says he passed the biggest tax cut in U.S. history. I think that's about 140 times. Uh, he talks about how he's. Uh, you know, one of his favorite lines is that we've lost money on trade deficits. Mm -hmm. You don't lose money on trade deficits. Uh, and, you know, these, there's, you know, we have, we have another category yeah. called the bottomless Pinocchio, where if he's earned three or four, three or four Pinocchios and he said it more than 20 times, it gets put on a list. And there are uh, uh, 21 or 22 of those at this point. Yeah, and that number has gone way up. There's a lot of Pinocchios running around without pants, the bottomless Pinocchios, uh, as I like to say. The publishing of the Mueller report or the release of the Mueller report has opened up a whole new phase as well, correct? Yes, because what he keeps saying is that the Mueller report found no obstruction. Uh, that's not true. Uh, the Mueller report outlined five to ten instances that uh, could be grounds for obstruction uh, but it said that a president is a sitting president is not indicted for obstruction so it the Mueller left it to congress but to run around and say he had total exoneration which he likes to say is not correct yeah every time he speaks about the Mueller report you can almost see the meter your meter going up he can't help but talk <laughs> about it without saying things that aren't true i always find one of the most fascinating areas where he lies or misleads is on news that is good for him and good for America, frankly, like the economic numbers that came out last week, the GDP uh, growing at 3.2%. That's a good number, but when he speaks about even that, he can't help himself. Right, he'll say, th he said, for instance, it was a record not set in 16 years, which is not true. I mean, we had 3.2% uh, economic growth uh, one of the quarters uh, last year. Uh, and one of the things he does, he always talks about the number of jobs created at, w since he's been president, which is a good number. It's a number he should be proud of. But he always starts to count from Election Day when he wasn't president. It, pa it adds another 500,000 or so jobs. At this point, when you've gotten almost four and a half, five million jobs created under your presidency, I'm not sure why you need to pad the number. But overall, does the White House respond to this counting from you. One of the things I was struck by is in the Mueller report when it called out Sarah Sanders for lying about the firing of James Comey uh, and, and other things she did. They were unrepentant. Is there any sense that there's shame about this? Uh, I haven't, uh, you know, why? <laughs> I mean, White House officials, they will respond to our inquiries and they'll answer our questions. I mean, they haven't specifically talked about this uh, count. I know that the president talks about it. On about 10 occasions, he has talked about how he doesn't like getting Pinocchios and that you know, he gets one little thing wrong, he'll, he'll get Pinocchios. So uh, the president is certainly aware of it, but uh, it's not, it's, 
usually, you know, if you're White House staff, you talk about things that are good for you. This is probably not a good number, so I don't think they talk much about it. Uh, Glenn Kessler, thank you for counting. We'll let you get back to work. Thanks very much.